All right, Tim, are you ready for the band is out on the field? <laughs> That's a legendary <laughs> ACC moment, right? Eric Dickerson is now an ACC legend. It's a great picture, though, with the glasses and the, laying on the football field. That's what we did today. The, the next ACC Hall of Fame induction class is John Elway, like that. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, it's mm -hmm. uh, Andrew Luck, uh, Eric Dickerson. Throw, throw, throw them all in the, uh, the ACC Hall of Fame. Can I just say that the ACC just now became the best swimming and diving mm. uh, conference in America? You know, the, the funny thing. <laughs> we um, could keep these jokes going. Oh, all, <laughs> all day long. That's what I, what, what, what I, what I do. Um, I keep seeing all of the the ACC is dead. The, the these teams are going to leave. I just wonder how many people we think about these as college conferences. Mm -hmm. They're not. Look at the history of the banking industry. It's what college conferences have become. Like, did did the SEC really need Missouri, or do they just want? St. Louis and Kansas City, they wanted that market and all the f football fans in it, right? That's it, basically what this is. Which which excites you if you're you're J.P. Morgan. It it doesn't excite you if you're the, I don't know, First Bank of Missouri or whoever is going right. to get swallowed up by J.P. Morgan and you're not going to exist anymore. Well, the, the banking rules, and I don't know why I'm talking about this because I don't really know a whole ton about it, but <laughs> the banking rules used to be that you couldn't open up, if you were a big bank, you couldn't open up a branch in a state where you didn't have a presence mm -hmm. in. So what they did, they would just buy a small bank in that state and now i'm in there so so that's why jp morgan uh now jp morgan chase bought like washington mutual in seattle it's just like a two billion dollar bank it was nothing it was a tom and jerry bank mm -hmm. um they all did it and that's what it is so we just bought cal and and now and, we're in now we're in california and we're in texas and we can go recruit but but that, stupid i think that actually we we stumbled into a really good uh uh kind of analogy there because the the banking industry is one of those things where i think most of us kind of know just a, just enough to be dangerous but we don't like i don't know how banks work i don't even have an atm card yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't i don't all the numbers it's i when when someone's explaining it to me i nod as if i get it right. and that's kind of what college sports has become in where we it used to be very i don't like simple right the if you're a west coast fan you're a fan of the pac 12 right and and if you're uh oregon your rival is oregon state <laughs> it's it's like it used to be right. so simple. Now it's the Pac-12 doesn't exist. The Big Ten and the ACC are coast to coast, and uh, uh, Syracuse's rival might be Cal Berkeley. Like it it just it doesn't make it's as much sense anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be a rivalry. You know, it's the the whole thing. For, first of all, I I hate to be a contrarian here, but mm. I'm a, I'm a contrarian for this. Like I'm not in favor of what the ACC did. I just think it's it makes no sense. There is more money involved. We can't deny that yep. there is more money involved because there is. Is it significant? Probably not. It may be significant depending on how they divide it up. It may it could end up meaning 15 million more dollars to Florida State or Clemson or North whoever. And th those are the three schools that voted against it, right? North Carolina, yep. Clemson, and uh, Florida State all voted against. NC State flipped from no to yes. Uh, Randy Woodson, it was his vote, right? I, and, and I hope he got something for it. I hope he went to the 11 schools that wanted him to flip from no to yes and said, listen, you can, I'll, I'll, I'll say yes, but you got to do this for me. We get all the positive officiating decisions <laughs> for uh, for Kevin Case in basketball. Everybody's complaining about travel. We don't <laughs> want an away soccer, tennis, or swimming meet on the West Coast for five years. Oh, that that would be a good trade. <laughs> that would be a good – but we're, we're sitting here and we're, we're, we're looking at these things as college conferences and they stop being that. Mm. And – we're we're stuck in this era that does not exist. Like, I talked about this a couple of weeks ago. We have a bunch of people who got mad that the ACC moved their offices from Greensboro to Charlotte. I mean, seriously, <laughs> they moved their offices from Greensboro to Charlotte. If you're the Atlantic Coast Conference, you want to be in a bigger city, right? If if you even need offices, which I contend you don't even need an office. What do you a, do? A Zoom link. What do you uh, well, do with the well, office? Was, what are they thinking? Omaha now? Because you got to be central. You got you got to be. You know. Oh no, probably stay in Charlotte. <laughs> like, we're, we're, the the Big Twelve, the Big Twelve is in Dallas, right? Mm -hmm. Big Twelve is in Dallas. The Big Ten is in Chicago. I believe it. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, the, I think so. Like, so 
why does it, should the ACC have stayed in Greensboro? I mean, I'm not knocking Greensboro. It's lovely, right? Uh, the they just, they uh, do the best a, job with the ACC basketball tournament. The Coliseum does, but the col it, it's we uh, have grown Greensboro. It, it's 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 I don't know. It's, it's it's very similar to everything everything else we're talking about, which is the motivation that we have as fans is so different than the motivation that they have as schools. They want to be in an airport hub. Right, right. They, they want it's all they care. About. They want direct. We should be flights. in Atlanta. Yeah. <laughs> Why depends, aren't we in Atlanta? De- yeah, it depends on which uh, which airline you you have your frequent flyers with. That tells you what city you want to be in. And Dallas makes sense, and Chicago makes sense, and Atlanta would make sense. But it's it's Charlotte makes sense. Charlotte's got a good airport. As as fans, you know, we want tradition and, and Greensboro, yep. and, and we want the way it was when when we were kids, and we want all that. But that's not their motivation anymore. They're looking at it from a business standpoint. Yeah, and and, it, and again, it does it does mean more money even though we're we're never bridging the gap i mean we're we're never going to get to where the sec and the big 10 are the sec has more football games that matter and in the big 10 they speak to the largest group of alumni on earth like everyone see the, the sec schools aren't necessarily bigger than acc schools they just have invested and care more about football. Big Ten doesn't play better football, by and large, than the ACC. It's a great myth. There are three good football-playing schools. With really big stadiums. In, like the smallest <laughs> state. Like Purdue has the small, or maybe Northwestern does, the smallest stadium, and it's like 60,000 people. And and the big end the the right ECU's playing at Michigan they're gonna play in front of one hundred and ten thousand people yeah. which is, I mean, you might as well just watch it on TV it's, in the back. It's volume. It's volume for the Big Ten. Look, I, I as I started to say this, the all of these moves have nothing to do with anything other than money, mm. and we have to stop looking at these conferences as though they're college. They're not. It's all big business, and nobody cares at all about the athlete. You played, right? I did. Right? So put yourself in position, in the same position as a quarterback for Boston College today. Do you think that Jim Phillips, as nice a man as he is, and he is awesome as a person, are they really thinking about how does this impact Tim Donnelly, Boston College quarterback today. They don't because they, they don't really care. No, they're actually they're they're doing the like uh, Emmett Moorhead, the quarterback at Boston College, right? They're they're thinking, how do we have really? enough? <laughs> Boston College has a quarterback named Emmett Moorhead. I believe so. He's yeah. not a he's not an author. Oh. <laughs> he writes short stories. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's the, the modern Walt Whitman, Emmett Moorhead. <laughs> uh, but like th- they're thinking, how can we afford to pay someone so we have a much better quarterback than Emmett Moorhead? <laughs> no, right. like that's what they're that's what they're because th- name, image, and likeness. We need an upgrade. Yeah, we we need we have a we have uh, you know a Drake May. Can we afford to have fourteen Drake Mays out mm-hmm. of out of seventeen football schools in in the conference? It's it's money, and and now uh, you know, the players are in the mix for the money, so it, it it changes everything. Well, if the players get a cut of that money. Are the players no, not not of the the media money or anything? They should. Like, oh, absolutely, the, they should. Look, I'm I'm a radical about this. I believe that every athlete, swimmer, volleyball player, <laughs> field hockey, track, football, everybody deserves something out of this because they're all impacted. We don't. We, we just don't care. We. So, Mac Brown talked earlier this week about. Well, we're. Uh, because I know he's wrapped up in the Tez Walker. Tez Walker and, and Tez Walker and, should and be the should be playing. new clock rules and, right. and yeah. It's like oh we're taking we're player safety but we're playing twelve games. I'm like nobody said you had to play a twelve team playoff. Mac, this is what football chose to do for money, and the networks wanted more money. So you don't have to do this. It's it's the right? the sliding scale. We're about safety until the money becomes enough that we're no longer about safety. So you know if we can cut nine plays a game off. And and still get all the and maybe even more because that opens up more time for commercials. Uh, then we're about safety. But it, if we can play another game, we're no longer about safety because no, no, exactly. that's enough money. Because it brings us it, more money. It, yep. The 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 funny thing about what Max complaining about. We, we're talking about all sorts of issues here. What Max complaining about actually was TV wanted all of these games to finish within the windows. We couldn't have four hour college football games. Anyway, back to what the <laughs> ACC. Uh, but, has, but just to, to bring it back, that's Mac Brown 
acting as if he like he's been with thirty four years. He's about to have his hundredth win at his uh, second school, right? <laughs> uh, uh, or first school and third school, whatever it ended up being. Uh, but that's him not understanding. Like you know how this goes. Like, oh, yeah. are, are you surprised that TV's the player making, safety? Yeah, like TV makes every decision now. He knows it. We know it. The news this morning about state flipping, and then now they are inviting him. That's a money thing. Like it's it's yeah. We all know it, even if we pretend we don't. So the the thought is, state has really made the mistake here because now North Carolina will not bring them along, as though this was going to be North Carolina's decision to bring state along wherever they went. Because it's not North Carolina's decision to do anything like this. North Carolina would be happy to receive an invite. And I don't believe we're talking about from the SEC or the Big Ten. I think the next invites that are going out are coming from, here is the college football universe. Would you like to come be in it? And it will not be North Carolina's decision whether or not to bring their friend NC State. And and, and, and NC State flipping. The reason why NC State would stick with UNC if they were, if they were in some kind of partnership and state legislators or whatever got involved, would be because NC State thought it was best for NC State. Right. And if NC State decided to part ways with North Carolina, it's because they weighed the benefits of staying with North Carolina and the benefits of leaving North Carolina, and they made the decision that's best for them. Every every team, every person to some respect, Mm -hmm. heck, transfer portal coaches on the move, every person in college sports is out for number one right now. They're out for themselves, and – any alliance, any any partnership only goes as far as it benefits both parties. As soon as it doesn't benefit one, you'll get dropped like a bad habit. You know what really bothers me, though, about this whole thing? ACC I, I, we football. We have a list, but go ACC ahead. ACC football media days now needs to be four days. I can't. It, I can't. <laughs> I can't do four days. I can't. I draw the line. Next year. It's happening next year. It'll yeah, gosh. Uh, it should be. It it probably should have been one with th- instead of three. So now I'll say it should be two. <laughs> I can't. I just can't. And um, I don't know if, if we have anything else to say other than ACC legend Tiger Woods. Um, that's actually the silverest of the silver lining. Tiger Woods. Rose Zhang. Let's, Ro- let's, oh, get, let's get all the golfers involved. She is. She is awesome. Yes. I, Max Homa. I, oh, we we could. Katie Ledecky. Katie Ledecky. Oh, we're I, we can go on for a long time here. The guys really that created could. Google. Oh, that's well, you know, it's funny. Mike Corsi <laughs> of the Sporting News, who was on the show uh, with me, I think it was earlier this week, uh, actually said, "Blame Google," because through Google and all of the searches you can do, uh, you can find out that Cal and Stanford haven't really been good in football ever. <laughs> Right. I mean, there was a, a short period for Stanford, yep. the end of the Jim Harbaugh, beginning of the David Shaw era. But basically, they haven't been any good. But right? but but Google own now. I'm now my my the, the hamster wheel is cranking. Google owns YouTube. They do. YouTube right. TV. I think I think we the only way me, to watch media, college football. Now. Me, true. Media <laughs> media rights. Uh, step up, YouTube. You want Stanford in the ACC? We need a, you know, however many millions per team on uh, on well, the media deal. Stanford's leaving money on the table, as is Cal. SMU isn't taking any money for nine years. So the ACC matters to somebody because they're willing to pay their their way for nine years. SMU is coming for free. That is amazing, and that's how the ACC is going to finance this. It really is a Ponzi scheme. If you're getting three <laughs> three schools coming in for you know, fifty cents on it's, the dollar total. It's the, the multi-level marketing. Now you have to tell I Stanford, Cal, and SMU. You have to find three friends each to come in for free, and yeah. and that'll then then you'll get a cut of that. And it's it's. I think I, I think this was pitched to me in college Amway. by somebody that was selling um like makeup. <laughs> it is uh, it is Amway. Yes, it, it it absolutely is. Um, the whole thing's just ugly, but everybody's mad, and I think mostly mostly. Media people are mad because now we have to, we have to cover we'll more stay teams. Up late. I'm not staying up. <laughs> well, we. Have, I'm we not. Have, I'm sorry. I'll and, watch it the next day. And we have football to talk about. Actually, now. Hey, how about that? And do you think maybe that Randy Woodson said, "Yeah, we'll do it," after watching the passing performance? Said, "Let's get everybody talking about yeah. something other than we didn't cover against UConn." Oh my gosh! All right, Tim, that was fun. That was fun. Mm.